OpenAI have just announced some changes to their API, which will affect how we use OpenAI's uh, AI API in Bubble going forward. Uh, for starters, this video is going to demonstrate how you can use the brand new responses endpoint in place of chat completion. It's very clear from the uh, press release on the OpenAI blog that uh, responses is where OpenAI's time and innovation were going in the future. Now they say that the chat completion endpoint isn't going anywhere, but here's the kicker, the assistant endpoint is. So they say that the assistant endpoint, is it going to still be documented here somewhere? Where is it? Uh, here we go. The assistance endpoint in beta, which I've been wary about from the start, mainly because of the risk of building an app based on beta software, but there have been pros and cons, I understand that. Uh, yeah, they're going to be retiring sunsetting beta at some point in 2026. So there is time, but these changes are important, and here's how to understand them and uh, simply update your bubble app to use the responses endpoint instead of the chat completion. So first thing you might notice is that it is very similar. If you just want text in, text out, then it works basically the same way. What you get as a benefit is the image, the web search, the file search, uh, streaming. Well, that's coming to Bubble uh, in the next month or so if you look at their latest community update functions, reasoning. Okay, this is where they're putting their time and their effort, as you can see. But just if we start with the basic, like the text input, it looks like all you actually need to do is replace the endpoint. So um, we've got tons of tutorials on this. We've got how to build a chat GPT clone um, as one of our courses. Our members get full access to that. Uh, we also have an AI powered learning environment. So if you uh, are just searching uh, learning bubble and you're searching through on YouTube and you're struggling to find the right content, we've basically got our own chat GPT clone trained on our material that we spent years making, hundreds and hundreds of videos, and you can get the answers within a matter of seconds and videos uh, right in front of you without having to waste time looking through YouTube. Uh, so all you need to do is, it seems, replace the chat completion, which looks like, uh, where is it gone? Up here. Chat completion, that's the endpoint and you just swap it out. Uh, oh, but there are gonna be a few other things to consider, such as where you put your system prompt. But if we're just doing a chat thing, you swap it out. So here's one I made earlier. In my Bubble API connector, the body section, again, if it's really simple, nothing's changed. Uh, my API key is in here with bearer in front of it. I've got it as an action, a post request, authorization, private key, and header. Uh, there's the responses endpoint, and I just initialize and I'll get a response back. And there's my response. So here's some things to be wary of when updating, just kind of swapping the endpoint around, is that this looks like it is still in the same position, like output, it's a list content, uh, and here is the uh, under text. So do make sure that if you update this endpoint, if you reinitialize it with uh, the API connects just as I've done. Make sure that you're not breaking any of your workflows that depend on the output. Also, pay attention to how it is different. Um, this has been just a rebranding of what we call system to developer. It's now called instructions. And actually closer to what Claude want you to do by Anthropic, it's no longer a message. It sits outside of messages into the uh, top of your, um, you know, the, the top level of your API request. So actually it wants us to do something like this. And I've not tested this, so let's see if it works. Um, and I'll say uh, answer like a pirate. Uh, comma at the end because it's JSON, let's initialize, uh, and it's instructions. There we go. Oh, I love an API that gives helpful errors. Let's have a look at the output. There we go. Okay, so there are a few uh, updates to create, but I would go ahead, look through the OpenAI blog, read through it. Uh, see if you agree with me. Is this the direction that OpenAI want to be uh, are taking people? Is it worth abandoning the chat completion now and just getting all on board with responses? It seems to be the case, but uh, you just kind of never know. They, the industry is constantly changing, but it does look like if you want to be unlocking the latest features that OpenAI will be releasing and adding them into your bubble app, 
uh, then you want to be using the uh, responses uh, endpoint instead of chat completion going forward.